morning. We're out on a little fungi walk today. And we're up at uh, the car park at the flat. There you go for, for the Christian B. Crags walk, which you can just sort of see in the trees. Just there. Yeah, it's a bit overcast and grey. But uh, it isn't forecast to rain till later today. <laughs> we'll see how far we get. But, uh, we're going to have a little head down, down to the river line. And we will see if we can find some fungi. The old signs had a bit of weather on it. It's a bit knackered. Could do being replaced. Yeah, this wasn't the last time I uh, walked the path. There's shallow roots on that. It's obviously took a tumble. Right, let's try and get over it. So there is, I don't know if you can see the, the way through the grass, a little path. See the way back as well. Yeah. Ages ago it was looking pretty well overgrown where you couldn't follow any path. So there's obviously people being down here, so it's starting to get a, bit, a little bit of use, which is, is good. Yeah, I've come across my first lot of fungi. It's a fairly wet. Uh, Brown around these yeah. ideal conditions. This is the white line, river white line. a bit peaty. Yeah, I don't know if this camera's picking it up, but if you look on that, right along the edge there, you can see where the water's been, it's flattened all the grass. So it must have been fairly high, I would say probably the last, last week, back, back end of last week. We had some heavy rain. Looking for somewhere to cross, it's just still. I don't see all that heavy rain lately. Right, possibility. Onto the little island and then across. Over there. Here we go. Oh, get that bit done. Better watch because the stones are fairly slippy. Right, made it. Made it across. Yeah, okay, we've got the gaiters on, keep the feet dry. But yeah, that was a bit of a nightmare getting across that. Right, I've just come into this uh, little open area here. Alright for a little pitch for a woodland camp. Handy for a water source. You're not that close where you can you can just hear it but not full bore. Obviously you wouldn't want to camp here if you knew it was gonna rain a lot because the water might just come straight across here and join the river again. But you know a winter camp, frosty. Be alright here. Nicely sheltered. Far enough from, from any trees landing on you. Yeah, so the cord when you're out wild camping, you always take your rubbish home with you. Well, this is not wild campers, this is the forestry workers. Insecticide, empty canisters. Don't think it should be really left out here. They should at least 
put it in their vans and take it away with them. I would say someone's just dumped this though. Out of sight, out of mind, eh? All right, so we're getting a little bit higher. Back on the old uh, footpath. This is Ellery Grain. Path that leads you up to the old Schmoo Crags. But whether I get up to them today, I don't know. But uh, staying dry for now. Yeah, some nice lichen on there. Yeah, I've been a bit nibbled. Red for danger. Twin Peaks. Fresh specimen. Blocked. Yeah, some tree root. Some more fungi around here. Quite a good selection here. Must be good growing ground for them. But yeah, there's quite a few around here. Brighten up a little. You now, onwards and upwards. This one's for Mark and John. Is this the way you come back down the other week when you come off the crags? Down that path? Along here? I don't know if you went back that way or carried on and then cut across through the trees. But uh, I'm heading up. Gonna head into them trees there and run parallel with the uh, footpath to the top. Right, so basically, back out again, onto the fire break, slightly moist one, and then back in, back into the woods again, and more rosalas, rustlers, what do you want to call them? Right, that's just the top of the forest. There we go, Christian McCrags. But I'm going to stay just in here, this little bit here. I'm going to make some tea, put my little tranji with us, have a coffee or a hot chocolate even, and then I'll have a walk over to the crags. But for now, nice and sheltered here, out the wind. As soon as I get up onto there, It'll be blown a hole, I can guarantee it. So yeah, let's get a brew on.
seen a few of these caterpillars today. I know what they are. Anyone any ideas? Right guys. It's me on the crags anyhow. I was always saying before. I knew it would be windy, that's why we have it in and down the forest, which was a lot less drafty. Yep. Yeah. Gonna head back down. Because it's getting a bit chilly. It's not wind, it really picks up and drops the temperature. So. Goodbye from the crags. The windy crags. Quite a few of these up here. Bilberries, I think. Um, squeeze them very. Right. This is probably <laughs> without going right round the whole of the crags. This is where I stopped the first time. You know, it's a little flat area here. This would be uh, the rocks that are sheltering. It's a little bit windy here. Obviously, it depends which way the wind is blowing. But when I was up here, there was very little wind. But uh, yeah, it's the best of a bad bunch around here, really. So I've marked it on the map, I know what it is for next time when I come up. So I won't have to be uh, spend 15 minutes trying to search for somewhere. Right, the clouds are rolling in now. So you see over there towards the Solway. It's supposed to rain about two or three o'clock. It's half past one now, so I better make my way down. Right, the rain's closed in. Pretty miserable now. So we'll call it a day. Thanks for watching. See you again.